Hi friends, Siddhartha again. In today's video, I'll be talking about certifications uh, which are specially required for cyber security jobs in Germany. Uh, this video is in continuation with my previous video. Please have a look there uh, because as I told you, um, there is a lot of uh, exceptionally huge requirement of uh, cyber security professionals in Germany these days because of a special law which is coming in effect from 1st May 2023. Stay tuned and please see this video completely friends. I'll explain you what is the best way to get into cyber security jobs in Germany. So friends, as you know, uh, recruiting an Auslander, that is uh, recruiting a foreigner, is really a very tedious job for a German employer. So, uh, you know, there are certain things that you must consider. If you are coming from any part of the world other than Germany itself, then you are considered as foreigner, first of all. Of course, for EU citizens, rules are a little different, but still, they are still complicated as compared with German citizens. So, it's always better to project your profile as a technical person because if you are technically sound, if you are core technical, uh, then things goes very easy. And apart from that, the best uh, thing is you really don't require a lot of German skills. I mean, I have seen many candidates, I mean, more than dozens of people who are pure English people. Uh, they are they cannot speak any German and still they got into um, cybersecurity jobs in Germany just because of their technical skills. So my tip here is friends, go for technical certifications. I will tell you which are the best certifications from my point of view. Of course, um, I'm not giving an extensive list of all certifications, but still from my point of view, which are the best and the lowest hanging fruits that you can target upon and they will certainly help you out. Now friends, even if you are not a core cyber security uh, Techni technical person and you don't have much experience in IT security and you are let's say in some uh, neben jobs. Neben jobs means let's say if you are a software developer or a network specialist or kind of a business analyst or something, still you have a lot of scope in IT security. This is because now IT security is an integrated part in everything. I mean now we talk about secure by design that is Right from the first stage of secure, uh, software development, IT security or cyber security is embedded at every phase. So that means even if you are a core software developer, kind of um, business analyst or any, uh, any other fields, still you are fully eligible to dive into cyber security profiles. Now for cyber security profiles, I will suggest go for initial low hanging fruits like certified ethical hacker. That is the first one. Uh, that of course is uh, a little um, core technical can can you say but still it plays a very vital role in um, you know cyber security jobs in germany apart from that going for uh, other roles like SOC analyst now SOC analyst is another thing as i told you in my previous video uh, there is a new rule which is coming up from 1st may 2023 that every organization in germany who deals with critical infrastructure now, what is critical infrastructure and what is these critical organizations that I'll explain later on or in uh, previous video I have explained. But for these organizations, it is mandatory to install uh, Angriff's Erkenung, Angriff's Erkenung software. Angriff's Erkenung uh, software means attack recognition system, which essentially means IDS, you can say. But you know what, if you go into the depth of the definitions, which are still a draft, which are not, you know, fully written, they say that the system should be able to do correlations, uh, integrations, filtration and you know all those things which a typical SIEM solution does. So essentially you can say there is a requirement or the, you, the organizations has to uh, install a SOC or a SIEM solution. Now for this reason there is a lot of requirement these days friends especially for SOC analysts uh, it's a boom time because not every organization can afford SOC analyst first of all. Not every organization can um, operate a 24 by 7 SOC, SOC bedoited uh, security operations center. But now many organizations are looking for people who can take over the job like a SOC analyst. Of course, you won't be uh, required to work 24 by 7 in such organizations. But still, you if you have some experience related with SIEM or SOC, then you are good to go. So again, uh, the bottom line is any 
soft any certification related with SOC or SEAM will do a lot of favor to you. So you can go for, of course, I'm not, um, you know, uh, selling products, uh, but still I would like to mention a few products like Splunk. Splunk is like a hot cake these days. Other SIM solutions like um, Elastic, Greylog, uh, Data um, Dog, or there are so many SIM solutions which essentially works almost the same, but the, the, the background is quite different. But if you have a good experience or you are certified in any of these SIM solutions, you are really at a very good chance to get into um, uh, you know a company in uh, Germany. So go for Certified Ethical Hacker. That is the lowest hanging fruit. I think you everybody sh should go for it. Go for any technical uh, certification like CCNA, CCNP or any other network related. There are a lot of CompTIA uh, security certifications. Uh, I'll check out the website as well right away and I can show you some of them. So friends, let me quickly show you um, about this EC Council's um, SOC certification. EC Council SOC Analyst. I personally feel that this certification is um, a very valued one because this one is a generic one. First of all, it's not a vendor specific, it's a vendor neutral certification. And it talks about, you know, a typical SOC analyst role. So uh, that that opens up your doors for uh, for any company um, which may be, you know, operating any type of SOC, let's say, as I defined, as I mentioned, Curadar or um, ArcSight or something. So it's a generic SOC analyst role. Now, likewise, if we go for, uh, let's say, CompTIA, C-O-M-P-T-I-A certifications. So let's see. There are again a huge list of CompTIA certifications. So as you see, get the skills and this, this is CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, Security+. Plus. So I would rather suggest you that this one, I personally feel that it's, it's quite a valuable one because again, these are all vendor neutral certifications and they talk about your technical profile only. So as I said uh, previously also, try to go for, you know, technical profiles. They give you an advantage that the German uh, skills requirement is um, kind of waived off if you are going for a typical security uh, technical uh, uh, certification. Now, um, let me quickly show you about, uh, let's say, ISACA certifications. Now, here, uh, because I myself is um, CISA certified, but I of the I am of the opinion that you know certifications like CISA, CISM, these one or even CRISC, um, these one are kind of a managerial um, certifications, you know, because they are not entry level. Even if you have five years of ten years of work experience, you can definitely go for a CISA, CISA, ISM uh, type of certifications. But again, if you are going to work in a typical German company and based on these roles you are most likely going to interact with a lot of people and you will be expected to speak a very fluent level of German. I mean, if I say fluent level, then it is at least uh, B2 or C1. So I am not sure if there are any other, you know, technical certifications by ISACA, but still the CompTIA and EC Council certifications are going to help you a lot. And let me quickly go through the other certifications that EC Council offers. Um, because I myself is certified ethical hacker. Now I see there's a V12, version 12 is there. So this one is like, a, you know, opening of the entry door uh, for you to get, um, you know, a job in any type of security role in Germany. Now, apart from that, there are certain other certifications also uh, like incidence responder, responder, incident responder. So here, uh, see, EC Council Certified Incident Handler. So these are also very certi uh, very valuable and, um, you know, because they are quite cert uh, quite technical in uh, nature. And um, of course, uh, you need to have a lot of experience, maybe blue teaming, red teaming experience, and then only one can go into such certifications. One more was forensics. 
F O R E N S I C. Let's see if there is any forensic related. So you see, um, yeah, C H F I, Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator. So you know these are all very specific roles. I mean, they you may not be you know talking to a dozen people uh, in a week. Um, di dozen different people in a week if you are a forensic investigator you may be only dealing with the team or at max in with the project or the, um, the client with with whom you are interacting so these um, are the jobs wherein you may find many openings which really don't require German of course see any job listing will always mention you that uh, we require uh, German uh, but it may happen that you may be, you know, even if you are able to introduce yourself in German language, if you are very fresher in German language, they may even allow you six months or one year's time to brush up your German skills. And in the meantime, uh, they will onboard you um, for the role as well. So always go for technical certifications. That's the bottom line. And apart from that, uh, any, so any um, you know, the certification related with SIEM or SOC, EC Council also gives a generic uh, certification related with SIEM. Um, I'll check out right away. That is also a good thing. Apart from that, if you have a uh, you know hands-on experience on any SIEM solution, uh, as I told you, Splunk, Elastic, or there are so many of them, QRadar or maybe ArcSight, they are really going to you know give you a strong push. So friends, the bottom line is go for technical certifications. I would rather suggest you don't go for administrative type of certifications like uh, CISM, CISA. Of course, I have done CISA, uh, but there is a drawback related with it. The drawback is if you go for such management related certifications, then you are expected to be very fluent in German. Because at the end of the day, if you are working uh, in an organization with such profile like CISM, CISA, CISSP or something like that, you most likely will be interacting with a lot of people around and if you are in Germany, everything is in German. So you will be expected to speak a very fluent German language. So that could be a kind of a show blocker um, because then uh, German language will, uh, will definitely hinder your chances of getting uh, employed. So that's why I said go for technical certifications and I'm sure with technical because I have seen more than dozen candidates who are pure English speakers and they could uh, easily get a job in Germany just because of their technical skills. So friends, that was all for today. In case if you have any comments or any suggestions regarding this video or you want me to explain some more topics, please feel free to comment. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and like this video as well. See you and bye-bye.